And we are back on Sister Circle Live and ready for our full circle discussion yes. where we take a little time to discuss a subject that is important to us and we do that in more detail here. Today our guest, Amarla Negra from Love yeah. & Hip Hop Miami so, and also an amazing superstar yeah. is here Thank to you. continue the conversation about something that uh, she's faced with many times or faced many times mm -hmm. and that is colorism. Colorism, yeah. yes. yes. Now, Amara, we talk about colorism a lot down to the circle because we're colored women. Yeah. And right. I hate to say colored, yeah, but, but we are of black, black women. women. Yes. Of yes. Yes. You know yes. what, that I really hate that term. No, it's very, it's very ridiculous. ridiculous. I, I, I don't like the, the term I just, I just, just played off the word black. color. I'm, I'm happy with being black. No, I just right. played off the Tomara, word color. La Negra. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Col <laughs> color, colored is real 1970, 1960s. 1930s, girl. Yeah, it's very Martin Luther the King Jr. It's just too much. All right. But, okay, so what I want to know is, as you're breaking into the, the American music market, yes. um, do, how do you infuse your culture still? Because even though you are a black woman, yes. you still have Latino culture. Mm -hmm. So how do you infuse that in your new music, and how is it being received? You know what? Um, I... I do like to do music that still has a Caribbean undertone mm -hmm. because I still want to be real to myself. Oh, you know, yeah. I never want my Latino followers to feel like, well, Amada got signed mm -hmm. to an American label, now she doesn't speak Spanish. Right. Right. Now right. she's right. all American. Right. 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 You know? right. So I still have a little Caribbean undertone. I do throw my little Spanish words here and there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I always make sure that they know that they're well represented by me. Mm -hmm. So that's the most important part. Wherever I have the opportunity to talk about my culture or the Afro-Latino community, I do so. Mm -hmm. So that's the best that I can do so far. Mm -hmm. um, and then I am working on foundations, and I am working as well on a doll collection, which I'm really excited oh, about. Yes. They're going to be available for uh, Christmas mm -hmm. because representation really is important to me. Absolutely. I think that the little girls coming up, there's so much pressure from society, what they mm -hmm. see on TV, magazines, and all these things. And they need to be able to play with toys that they see that are as beautiful as they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I am working on that as well. And little things like that, I mm -hmm. think, that do help on both uh, both sides. Absolutely. Right. And for Absolutely. people who don't know, yes. what is Afro-Latina? Because a lot of people I are like, what smell. is that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, it's really not that difficult. Work with me. Right. Listen. Okay. Focus. Focus. <laughs> Afro-Latina means I come from African descent. Right. Yes. But my culture, um, I am Dominican. Mm -hmm. My parents are Dominican. I am very Latina. So I know a lot of people feel some type of way when I'm loving hip-hop. I said, I am Latina. And they're like, no, but you're not saying that you're black. Okay. Is it necessary for me to say that I am black? <laughs> right. Do you not see right. it? So we don't really feel the need to say Afro Latina all the time. We say we're just Latinos. Mm -hmm. But in my case, I need to inform and educate people. Mm -hmm. We are Afro Latinos. So mm -hmm. are you, where are you from? Dominican born, in, born and raised in Miami. Okay. Mm -hmm. But my parents, my culture, everything that I know is Dominican. Dominican. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So I learned English in school mm -hmm. yeah. and Spanish at home. And till this day, my mom don't know, don't know no English. No. Right. Wow. Not at all. She understands and has a very heavy accent. <laughs> but she's working on it. She's taking English classes now. Go for her. I want yeah. to say to you, um, I know you've probably experienced... Um, the colorism mm -hmm. in, in the American culture, but have you actually experienced it in Dominican culture? Of course I have. Mm -hmm. Of course I have. And I, I always make sure, because you know people will be getting offended, yes, I that do. I don't generalize, but amongst the Latinos, we can be very racist amongst each other. Mm -hmm. so you know, you if, if you're my cousin mm -hmm. or my sister and you're two shades lighter than me, mm -hmm. it's like, wait, I am not as black as you are. Hold up. Right. As oh, if wow. that is a problem. Mm -hmm. Or don't marry no black man because you don't, you don't want to mm -hmm. have that nappy black hair baby, baby, right, black baby. Right, da, da, da. Right. It happens all the time. People don't like to talk about it, but it's the truth. And I get backlash all the time. I get, um, uh, I don't know how to say it properly, but what? I get, I have a P.O. box where I receive Fan letters and all mm -hmm. types of amazing things from my fans, hate and mail. and I get hate mail with n words all over wow. it all the wow. time, um, as if I'm doing something bad. And the only thing that You're I'm not. trying to do is uplift, you know, my community and people that don't know about us. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what it is, you know. With the good comes the bad, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm taking it. Yeah. But somebody mm -hmm. has to do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, good job. Yeah, You're good. fit for so, it. Thank you. You know, there, this, it's crazy to me that we're still having this conversation even today. What mm -hmm. kind of things are you um, saying to those people who say you're not black enough, or you're not black because you speak Spanish, <clears throat> or what about the people who are like, um, you know, I don't believe in her. You know, just because she looks black doesn't mean she's black enough. Right, yeah. <clears throat> I've gone through the you're too black to be Latina, you're too Latina to be black, mm. um, or the this, which I hate. 
um, this is a storyline mm. for mm. Love and Hip Hop, or you're using the race car to get ahead. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've been talking about this for many years. It just so happens to be that it took Love and Hip Hop platform, the platform, for people to, to actually yes. pay attention to me. Yes. Yes. I've been yes. talking about it forever. <laughs> right. So you know what? Um, it's just ignorance. There's only but so much I can say. There's mm -hmm. only but so much that I can educate. Mm -hmm. And if you choose not to understand or process what I'm saying, then that's on you. Yeah. You know, I've already done my best to open doors, break barriers for women that look like myself, little girls that look like myself, that don't feel that they have that opportunity. Because, of, for example, in the Latin community, we don't really have a lot of movies, magazine covers, mm -hmm. soap operas, where you see people like myself. And if you do, mm -hmm. they're slaves, they're drug addicts, they're prostitutes, they're all these negative things. Mm -hmm. So I am working towards that. There's so much I can do, people. Yes. I'm curious, who are you getting that, the most pressure from? Is it the Latino community, like Latino community or is it the black community? Mm -hmm. I love everybody. <laughs> It's a tough one, and I choose not to answer yeah. that. But the people that I thought that would support me the most... Uh, support you the least. Mm. ...have sometimes been, been the ones that haven't supported me as much and mm. have tried to find ways to bring me down. Wow. Mm. Yeah, even though that I am opening doors for them as well. Yeah. Wow. Mm. It happens. Here we go. Yeah. But what you do need to do is download my new single, Insecure. Yeah. Please do not forget <laughs> that. And follow me at Amara La Negra ALN on all my social media platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Continue to support you. You're so open your mouth here at Sister Circle Live. Yes. Oh.